with the cast of one of the hottest shows on TV. It's blowing up over at ABC Family with all kinds of drama and gossip and intrigue. It's called The Secret Life of the American Teenager. Yeah. Huge hit. And later, we've also got real-life teens making very real confessions to their moms about their secret behavior. But there's another hot show on TV these days, and... It's a bankable production. That's why I came out of this vault today. It's a big hit on Monday nights at 10 p.m. on ABC, and I am proud to exe executive produce it. I can't even say my own show. Executive produce it along with Mr. Ashton Kutcher. Yes. And I'm talking about my show, True Beauty. How many of you guys have seen True Beauty? Big hit. I'm really, really proud of it. And we've got the latest contestant to be eliminated from True Beauty for failing the inner beauty test. Ray, get your fine butt on out here. Come on out here, Ray. Hi, Ray. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Look how handsome you are. What do you have in your hands there? Now, Tyra, I was talking to one of your producers, and I was like... Is there any way I could do a portrait for Tyra? And he was like, yeah, but can you do it, like, today? Because you got to be here tomorrow. So I was, like, going crazy because I had six hours to do a portrait of, like, one of the most beautiful women in the world. Oh, and oh gosh. And this, yeah. this is what I did for you, Tyra. And it's about, like, your physical beauty and stuff like that. And it took me six hours. I was going crazy. Yeah. Pulling my hair out and stuff. Because you're an artist. I am. I'm a, I'm a fine artist. And so this is this is. You are you. a fine artist, isn't he? <laughs> Thanks, baby. <laughs> Let me see. I tell you what, she's gorgeous, ain't she? Come on, oh, baby. Come on. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Do you see that? Wait, is that like my weave? Is that. Is well, that... it's like it's kind of representative of like fashion and how you're like a flower for the whole world to see kind of oh, thing. Wow. And like uh, the angel wings in the background is kind of like you're trying to help like women and men and like uh, our culture. And like this kind of represents like your heart shining out and all that kind of stuff. Oh, so. this is really cool. Yeah, it's and very it's, nice. It's, and, and of course, your physical beauty right here, of course. I mean, you can't overlook that, right? You know what I'm saying? This is really nice. Okay, well, um, you know, I want to commission a painting um, for, of you, from you, of you, from of you. Me? From you. The nude or? No, no, no. Oh. I, want, I want Ray to do a painting that um, I want to auction off, and the money will be no donated um, in your name to one of my T Zone grantees, the Sadie Nash Leadership Project for Girls. Now, um, I didn't know you were going to do this, so this is really good, but what I would love mm -hmm. is if you could do like a portrait representing like just all be inside beauty okay. of me, just like inside stuff. Okay. Okay, so you can't like beat my face, you can't give me fake hair, nothing like that, okay? All right. You have to like. Just like inside me, and I'm gonna give you one hour, and at the All end right. of the show, we're gonna show everybody, and then we're gonna auction it off. You wanna do that? Yeah, that sounds cool. You serious? Yeah, I like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So go on back there. Okay. Go on back there, yeah. Thanks, but man. no brushes. I want you to do it with your hands. With my hands? With your hands. Man, that's, that's gonna be crazy. Yeah, so with your hands. Okay, so we're gonna check in with him at the, at the end of the show. Now, it's the teen drama that's got millions of viewers riveted to it every single week. It's not a bankable production, but it's a great show. Check this out. Drugs, gossip, and teenage pregnancy. Just another day in high schools across America. And the premise of the ABC family drama, The Secret Life of the American Teenager. The wildly popular show focuses on the strained relationships between families and friends, all dealing with an unexpected pregnancy. Here come the girls from Secret Life of the American Teenager, Megan Park. Shailene Woodley and Francesca Reza. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. Have a seat. Hi. Hi. Have a seat. And now the guys, Greg Finley, Ken Bauman, and Darren Kagasov. the show. I mean, it's a huge hit, but just kind of fill in who have, for people that have not seen the show what, what your characters are about. Let's start with you, Megan. I play Grace Bowman, and she's like the Christian cheerleader, a very good girl, and she wears a promise ring, and a big part of her storyline is whether or not to have sex. So. Promise ring, promising herself to her 
husband and to God also. Her future husband and yeah. to God. And to her parents. And to her parents. Yeah. Okay. Shailene, who do you play? I play Amy Jergens, um, who goes to band camp and has sex for the first time and gets pregnant. So her whole entire storyline is about dealing with the baby and the pregnancy and how that's uh, going to evolve. Do people come up to you in real life and go, oh my God, so did you, are you like pregnant? Like for real? People come up to me and they go, you're not pregnant. And I'm like, <laughs> no. I'm a character. <laughs> not a method actor. Okay. Francisia, who do you Francia, play? Francia, actually. Francia. Francia. Yes. Francia. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I play Adrian, and uh, my character is a bit promiscuous and provocative, and you know she just has a lot of sex to try and find love because she doesn't feel it from her parents. So she's trying to fill the empty void. Yes. All right, and let's go to Darren. Hi. Hi. Um, I play Ricky Underwood. He's kind of like the bad boy of the show. I mean, he gets with all these girls. And I actually got her pregnant. Um, I'm the baby daddy, so you are a baby daddy baby on TV. Daddy. Yeah. Very interesting. So. Okay, let's move on to Ken. Uh, I play Ben Boykovich. He's kind of the smart, nerdy, awkward freshman who falls in love with a pregnant girl and decides to take care of her regardless. Everybody likes this pregnant girl, don't they, Shailene? Okay, and Greg. Yeah, I play Jack, and uh, I'm a Christian football player who is Grace's boyfriend, and I'm actually trying to have sex with her. So. <laughs> I'm not really, I'm not really holding, yeah, I'm not really holding back as much as her, so. All right, yeah. so I know that uh, Francia. Francia, yeah. Francia, pretty name, actually. Thank Sorry you. for butchering it. Um, are, are you like your character at all, or were you like your character when you were in high school? I or? was a little bit. I was very flirty, and, you know, I was out there and stuff, and I did try, and there was this one guy that I was in love with, and he wanted to have sex, and I was like, well, if you love me, yeah, let's do it. And then I found out later on that he was messing around with other girls and stuff like that. Mm. So I was just that girl that was like, please love me, please mm -hmm. love me. And even if I had sex with him, he wouldn't have it, loved it me. Did. Yeah. But you didn't have sex with him? I didn't. I found out that he was actually messing around with someone else that was a friend of mine, actually. And then um, she was in my class. Two girls, actually, I found Two out. Two girls? Two girls. <laughs> and both were your friends? Both were my friends. Bitches. I know, right? <laughs> yes. girls be scandalous in Catholic school. Scandalous. I went to Catholic school too, girls. Yeah, they're crazy, mm -hmm. aren't they? Yeah. You do a little uniform, and after school, they, or we used to roll our skirts. But anyway, go to the boys' school. <laughs> yeah. They actually took our skirts away because they would wear no underwear. What? Yeah, we had. So you ended up having to wear pants? Pants, shorts, or skorts. Because, wait, why would they wear no underwear? For the because male teachers? The, no, the girls would wear no underwear and they would bend down for the boys and just... Oh, it wasn't an all-girls school. No, it well, was, mine was, was co-ed. Co yeah. Co-ed and they would bend over? Yeah. Show their booties to the boys in school? Well, everything else, yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. Not to you guys, though. Okay. I, I have to ask you, Shailene, do you ever get young pregnant girls coming up to you and saying, wow, I identify with your character. I've, I'm going through that now. Um, not so much young pregnant girls, but I've had a lot of adults who have come up to me and gone when I was 15 I was pregnant and you know seeing your show now with my kid who I did have when I was 15 you know really helps helps you know explain to him or her like this is what I went through as a teenager to have you wow, so and it's like uh, parents. so it's yeah parents yeah. who did get pregnant as adolescents interesting now I have to ask our bad boy here <laughs> Darren yeah. okay I feel that a lot of teen girls are really attracted to, to bad boys in real life Sure. Um, do you find that that playing the bad boy character makes like the girls like that are your fans attracted to you a lot because it's like oh he's bad like on Gossip Girl what's his name Gossip Girl um uh, no Chase Ed is good Westwood. Ed, Ed Westwood, Westwood. Yeah. Chuck, Chuck. Ed Westwood. like that like the girls are like well he's fine I'm like no he's mean he's awful <laughs> so do you find a lot of yeah, girls attracted that, to that yeah definitely I mean uh, I think the mystery women like m mystery you know and my character he's very mysterious I think so you can't really read him you don't really know what he's thinking mm -hmm. or what he's going to do. So I think uh, girls, women like that. Like mystery. You know? yeah. So how are you in real life? <laughs> uh, I like to be mysterious. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a girlfriend? No. You do not? No. Or is she at home going, what? Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I hope not. You hope not. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>